again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 15th of March, 2019. Article posted by Newsweek, written by Julian Edevane, that's E D E V A N E, posted on the 15th of March, 2019. Title Fox News host Tucker Carlson sheds advertisers in sustained boycott effort after radio remarks unearthed. An advertising boycott directed at Fox News host Tucker Carlson gained momentum after a second tape emerged of the right-wing pundit using profane and disparaging language about women and minorities. By Thursday evening, two companies, Shex Betting and pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca, had added their names to a growing tally of companies that have yanked advertisement from his broadcast. The advertisers range from car insurance companies to restaurants, many of which pulled support from Carson's show when he made controversial comments about immigration in December 2018. Prominent names include Farmers Insurance, Jaguar Land Rover, Red Lobster, IHOP, and more. Media Matters for America, the left-wing media watchdog that first surfaced the offensive recordings, tallied more than 30 companies that had released statements pulling support from the program. Remaining advertisers, including Progressive Insurance and Bayer, are facing pressure to follow suit. Some advertisers indicated they wouldn't be advertising now or in the future, while other companies released tempered statements that left room for a return to the Fox News program. It's unclear how much money the combined scandals have cost the conservative media company. Tucker Carlson Tonight ranked in $97 million in advertising revenue in the first six months of 2018, according to Forbes, and has continued to be a rating boom for the network despite the most recent controversy. In 2017, a 32nd commercial on the program costs roughly $13,500. Media Matters for America has teased the release of more inflammatory audio dumps, which came courtesy of calls Carlson made to Bubba the Love Sponge Shock Jock radio show between 2006 and 2011. The deep dive revealed recordings of Carlson defending a polygamist found guilty of child rape. He also called women primitive and described Iraq as a crappy place filled with semi-literate primitive monkeys. In other recordings, he questioned the blackness of former President Barack Obama and said Martha Stewart's daughter was a C-U-N-T who needed a spanking. Carlson, meanwhile, has refused to apologize to express contrition to his remarks. The day after the first tape was released, he appeared on the new show and thanked Fox News for its support during what he characterized as a politically motivated attack orchestrated by left-wing critics and Twitter mobs. First, Fox News is behind us as they have been since the very first day, Carlson said. Toughness is a rare quality in a TV network, and we are grateful for that. Second, we're always apologizing when we're wrong, and we'll continue to do that. That's what decent people do. They apologize, but we will never bow to a mob, ever, no matter what. He continued, quote, It's pointless to try to explain how the words were spoken in jest, or taken out of contents, or in any case, bear no resemblance to what you actually think, or would want for the country. Carlson was last targeted in advertising boycott in December 2018 when he said, immigration makes our country poorer and dirtier and more divided. Personally, I think that he should be held accountable for what he said on tape, and I suspect that it won't be too long before he'll no longer be part of the Fox News anchor family. We'll see. I've been wrong before. You might want to repost this on all your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to Tucker Carlson. Wish him well. He's going to need it.